Hey everyone, it's Tyler Stork from Universal Rackets. And if you're starting the game of pickleball, one of the shots that you need to learn is a serve. In this video, we are going to be going over the common mistakes that new players make while trying to learn the pickleball serve. After you're done this whole video, you're going to eliminate and you're going to know beforehand, before going out to play, all the mistakes. And hopefully we're gonna cure them and you're going to be able to get an amazing beginner serve. So, mistake number one. Players end up, when they drop the ball, they end up slamming the ball down instead of dropping it. Again, it looks like this. They'll end up dropping the ball like this. All you have to do when you're dropping the ball in pickleball is you need to hold your hand straight out and just release it. I like to think. Think that you're a grab claw, right? The moment that you press the button, what are you going to do? Release the ball. So again, the number one thing is this ball release. You need to make sure that you let it go. You don't force it down. It is going to simplify your serve tremendously. And again, many players do this. Out of thousands of lessons I've taught and I've facilitated and i watched, again, a lot of players, they struggle with this. You don't bounce it, you drop it. Once again, you don't bounce it, you drop it. The second thing about the toss, okay? You need to make sure you're behind the line, below the hip and below the ball. One thing that players do is they end up holding their tossing arm too high. I like to think that all you wanna do is make a snow angel and pretend that there's rope tied between your lats and your triceps. Again, so I can't, I'm like a bird, right? I'm flying, okay, I'm here. My hand should never go higher. Now, is that a rule? No, because as long as you, what, go below the hip, that's perfectly fine. But think about this way. If I toss my ball up here, it takes so much longer to get down there versus if I just drop the ball here. The longer I have, the more time that I make, the more difficult it is for me to serve. So there's more variables. There's more time for error, okay? So instead of holding your toss up high, hold your toss just out in front of your body. The next thing that you wanna do, if you're a right-handed player, I think 12 o'clock's up here, uh, six o'clock's back here. You wanna make sure that your toss is at one o'clock. You want it to be on the front side of your body. A lot of players where they go wrong is they either put their toss out here or straight ahead. I want my toss pointing towards that right net post. Again, one o'clock if I'm a right-handed player, if I'm a left-handed player, I want it at 11 o'clock. I wanna make sure that the toss is out here so then I can make contact over there. I don't wanna put the toss out here because then I have to come around my body. And that leads to the next thing. I wanna make sure that when I serve, the face of my paddle is always going forward. I like to think of a scooping motion. A great thing is you want a laser shining out the center of your paddle at contact, and then a follow through, you want the laser shining out of the tip of your paddle. Once again, if you're a beginner picking up pickleball, you wanna make sure that when you serve, you're going to drop, and you're going to laser shining front of paddle at contact and tip of paddle at follow through. By keeping the paddle facing forward at contact, that's going to make sure that you get the ball. And then by pointing the paddle, that's going to ensure that your ball is going to go in the proper position. A lot of players, what they do wrong is they end up moving their wrist. They end up doing all this crazy stuff with their wrist. Look, my paddle tip is pointing over there. I wanna make sure the best thing is, is again, I'm gonna have my what? Center of paddle at contact, tip of paddle pointing at follow throw. That's going to ensure wherever I point my paddle to, the ball is going to go. The next thing is going to be about commitment. Now, I know when you're picking up a serve, it's hard, right? You're learning a new thing, but in pickleball to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the paddle work for you and the less you work for the paddle, the better it's going to be. And what I mean by that is players can't serve because they just wanna get the ball in and then it end up slowing down or they end up stopping and then going and the ball goes super long. If you go for it, if you commit, you're going to be so much better. So what I need you to do is have your paddle back, go and serve, and just go for it every single time. Again, you're gonna serve, and every single time, what are you going to do? You are going to go for it. You need to make this one fluid motion. The moment that you stop, that's not going to work. Again, what did we say our follow-through tip is? Our follow-through tip is center of contact, pointing tip of paddle. You need to end up in this position. You can't go here, 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 or here, here. No, you need to do a full follow-through and point the tip of your paddle. If you can commit to your serve while learning it and picking it up, it's going to make it so much easier for you and you're going to be able to learn to serve so much easier. Okay, the next thing. Again, for beginners, we try to simplify our serve as much as possible. A lot of players, where they go wrong is they don't understand when they're supposed to drop, when they're supposed to take the paddle back, and then when they're supposed to hit. Now, I've been playing pickleball for a while, right? So when I serve, I serve like 
this, okay? My feet aren't even sideways. I like the open stance there because I like Tyson McGuffin, okay? However, notice if I'm a beginner and when I'm teaching beginners at Universal Rackets, when we teach beginners, we tell them to do their snow angel, like we said before, think that you're surfing, skateboarding, or surfing, okay? And what I mean by that is, look, my paddle's back and my arm's out in front. I'm not here and then going, I'm going to be here. The reason why my paddle back is in my arm out in front, because all I'm going to do is drop and go. If I'm beginning in pickleball, I'm not taking the paddle back while I drop because there's just so much more room for error, just like a higher toss. So if I keep my paddle back and I have my toss out in front, all I have to do is swing forward. So again, I'm gonna hold my hand out in front, paddle back, and all I'm going to do is drop and hit. Again, paddle back, hand out in front, and what am I going to do? I'm going to drop and hit. And that goes over the next thing, and that's timing. If you can say drop and hit and teach yourself that actual timing, it's going to make it so much more easier for you to hit a serve in pickleball. A lot of players, when they're beginning, they go, oh, can I bounce the serve? Can I do a bounce serve? And what I mean by that is they let the ball bounce and then they hit. The thing is with the bounce serve, you are never going to get to a high level with the bounce serve. And the reason why you're reverting to a bounce serve isn't because you don't have the skills or the coordination to get to an in-air serve in pickleball. It's just because you're not focusing on the proper thing. So don't revert to that bounce serve. Use these tips, okay? We're teaching you how to eliminate all these things where players go wrong for their serve. And that is what timing, timing, timing. So we're already in the best position possible because we spread our wings. We're on our surfboard, skateboard, or snowboard. But now all we're going to say is drop and hit. What did I say you have to commit? It's not drop, hit. It's not drop, hit. It's not drop, wait, then hit. No, it's drop, then hit. So all you're going to do is start straight out in front, hand down front. All you're going to say is what? You're going to say drop and then hit. You're going to say one and then two. As soon as you drop the ball, what are you going to do? You are going to hit it. Now, a very common mistake or question about servers, picking up the serve, everything like that, is what about the opposite side, Tyler? If I'm on the left side, what about this side of serve? Very easy, wherever you point your paddle to, the ball's going to go, it is the exact same motion whatsoever. Notice, on this side, look, I'm going to do the exact same motion, except what? Now, the tip of my paddle is going to point over there. Now, this is huge for a beginner picking up the serve. A lot of players think that you need to be facing directly towards your target, okay? It's going to be difficult. You're going to use just your arm if you face directly towards your target. Now, again, I mentioned I hit open stance, but that's for another video. What you wanna do is if you're a right-handed player, you wanna be in line with the right net post. If you're a left-handed player, you wanna be in line with the left net post. So notice, when I serve, my whole body, if I'm a lefty, I'm in line with that left net post. Now, I'm not a lefty, so I'm gonna use my tips. Here we are, paddle straight out. I'm on my surfboard, hand out in front, and then I'm gonna go, point to tip paddle, okay? So here we are, I'm in line. There, here we are. And there we are, let's try one more. See if my tips actually work. Here we are, so I'm in line with the net post. Here we are, drop, hit. Okay, let's try one more. Drop, hit, there we are. Perfect lefty serve. So you want to line up with your dominant side net post. The reason why it's kind of counterintuitive, but that's going to allow you to rotate. If I'm facing this way, I'm going to have to use my arm. If I'm facing this way, that's going to allow me to rotate your body. You always want when you serve, you always want your back foot either at or behind your front foot. You never want your back foot in front of your front foot because then it's not going to work. So again, great thing that I like to do is again, think that we're on our surfboard with our feet as well. And then I'm in line, here we are, and then I'm going to point the tip of the paddle forward. So. I hope this was a quick, easy video to, for you to learn all of the common mistakes that many players make while you hit the serve. The number one way that you can get better at the serve is practice, and the number two way is make sure you click the link in our description and find a Universal Rackets clinic near you where you can join, sign up, and if you don't have any program near you, you click the link in the description, fill out the form, and a Universal Rackets representative will get out to you and they will put programming in your area. Use these tips, use these tricks, have fun while learning pickleball. Again, make sure you implement all these things. Don't do these things, and we will see you guys next time on court. Happy serving, have a great one, and see you guys later.